Okay, my name is Eric, and if you have a Huawei Ascend 2, which is the Huawei Ascend M865, uh, you have been trying to root this thing forever. Uh, and basically, if you had 2.3.3 for your Android version, you were fine. You could use Z4 root and a host of other things. Uh, but if you had anything beyond that, 2.3.5 and beyond, they they fucked you, basically. They screwed you right over and you can't use anything. Uh, well, I finally found a way. And now there were some of the devices that you could you could downgrade uh, fr uh, from 2.3.5 back to 2.3.3, uh, but only if you had a stock ROM. And if you weren't on the Cricket network, you were screwed. Uh, if you were on US Cellular, which is what I'm on, or straight talk or any of the other places like that you had no luck because if you went back with a stock ROM of a cricket stock ROM you would be going on the cricket network uh, I've tried it before and I, I nearly bricked a phone but uh, uh, I had somebody uh, at US Cellular reflash it they had the copy of the stock ROM um, and at the same time they decided to upgrade me to 2.3.5 and that screwed me as well so anyway long story short I have finally figured out a way to do this uh, to put cyanogen mod uh, if, if it's playful gods Cy cyanogen mod 7 a2 this thing is unbelievably well thought out big props to that guy uh, whatever whatever the devs name is he's I mean, it's playful gods, but uh, big props to him. A very impressive uh, layout. He threw in a thousand different features that, that you can just play with and tweak and this and that. Uh, unfortunately, there is no overclocking mod in it, uh, but it's a 600 megahertz processor. You really, I mean, you could get it up to seven, but why? <laughs> it was the point. You know, I mean, it's when it's kind of that slow, it's it's that slow, and it's not too bad. To just you know, try to keep a million apps off it. But in any case, I got the phone right here. Uh, we'll unplug that from the USB. Uh, it's a little bit dirty right now, but uh, I'm gonna try and hold it up, and so so it doesn't reflect directly into the. Uh, I don't know how I could do that, but anyway. Let's see if I can get sideways here. Uh, basically, the whole layout is completely different. Uh, it's got some nice uh, little sliding graphics. I don't. You probably can't see any of this because it's so bright. My camera is absolute shit. But here's the basic uh, rundown. Uh, when you hit uh, your apps, uh, you don't get taken to a separate screen, and it, they all kind of come in from behind you and uh, you're going up and down uh, very similar oh excuse me you, your apps move up and down rather than side to side very similar to like an HTC uh, device and a lot of other ones have it like that as well but the most notable feature um, is the main reason why I wanted this uh, this mod in the first place or this ROM is you're never gonna be able to see this but I have multi-touch multi-touch is absolutely enabled um, I don't know if, uh, if I can get a little closer here maybe <laughs> maybe I can blind everybody out there um, now nah, you're not gonna see any of that but regardless there it is multi-touch it is 100% multi-touch active uh, this is the only the only ROM that will work uh, for US Cellular. I've tried every single other one. I've tried the Attitude one. Uh, I've even tried the actual Cyanogen. Uh, there was one that was a Cyanogen uh, 7.2 nightly uh, that did not work as well. It, it worked. Everything worked about those ROMs except you had no data. You had no 3G. So that pretty much screws you that way. The only one that I found that have worked, that's not to say that there isn't other ones. But CM7A2 beta uh, worked fantastic. And uh, anyway, that's that. Uh, there, you, you, I don't know if this is actually going to come out on here, but I'm going to go into some of the settings. Um, 
the the amount of stuff that that they have put in here is phenomenal uh so many options i mean just you know well first of all they get the signage and mod settings there there's all kinds of stuff there um just uh all kinds of options that weren't there before obviously i, I am rooted uh no we'll get into that in a second here um but uh so many different uh just little tweaks and little things you can do uh to make it uh, a little more functional and you know a little more uh, a little more happy time for for the user um in any case the way to do this you don't use any of the z4 roots um i've tried them all and and none of them would work the main reason is because you cannot get into fast boot on this device uh some huawei ascend twos you can but particularly with the US cellular version and I believe the straight talk version, you cannot get into fast boot. Pressing uh, volume down and power just leads you to that white Huawei uh, screen. So <clears throat> there is some, I can't remember who posted it. Uh, I'll see if I can actually bring it up here. Um, let's see, I know I put it in my favorites. Um, no. Uh, let's see. There we go. I do believe that's it. Um, I'll do my best to try to post these links, uh, but I am going to explain them to you. Uh, it's very simple. Um, who's the guy? VMC on Android forums. Uh, he is from Boston. Um, okay, basically, uh, there's two things you need, and that's really it. Um, you're going to need to uh, a little APK file called POOT. Uh, it's P O O T dot APK. Um, he'll have a link for it on his, uh, his page on Android Forms. And then the other thing <clears throat> you will need is another APK file called Ministro2. And when I say Ministro2, when, uh, 2 is the two uh, capital I's. Um, you install both of those. Uh, you, you download them on your computer. Then load them onto your, uh, on your Huawei. And install them from your phone and then you simply run uh, little, uh, I'm looking at the directions right now um, you open poot and it will it will automatically start downloading a bunch of libraries that are necessary for the poot to work once it is completed click the button that says press here to poot and hope for the best pay attention the messages displayed on the screen, most messages start with blah, 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 blah. you'll get some messages. Then uh, there, are some, there are like three warnings listed, don't worry about them. Uh, then you reboot your phone to save the changes and allow the exploit to take effect. Then you open Poot and click on the button that says built in root check to verify that your phone is rooted. As long as Poot is able to find SU and it will display its path along with the corresponding messages stating success. And then you simply install the super user app from the Google Play Store, and that's it. Now you can uninstall Poot and uninstall Ministro if you like. And after that, then you can put uh, CWM in. Uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery, <coughs> you'll have to have in before you put in this mod. Now, Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can get anywhere, and I believe, I can't remember how I put that in. Oh. Since you don't have Fastboot on this device, it's, it's very tricky to get Clockwork Mod Recovery to install. So if you go to the marketplace and get ROM Manager, uh, there's a little trick to this too. You get ROM Manager, you can get the free version, doesn't matter. And you, there's an option on there to, uh, to flash the CWM file. Flash that and do it like three or four times. Uh, rate rapid fire. As soon as it's done, click OK and do it again. 
click OK, do it again, click OK, do it again. Do it three or four times because that apparently is some glitch in, in, in that program where sometimes the first one or two don't take. So then you do that. I just did it four times just to be on the safe side. Then uh, I turned off the device and powered it back up into um, uh, recovery mode, which is pressing up on the volume rocker and power button, holding those down until you get into recovery mode. And you simply, uh, you will want to, uh, uh, I'm lost now. What I did to install these things is I went straight out from uh, just deleting everything. Uh, I went into, well, let's, let's go through it right now here. Um, I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, basically, I deleted the cache, um, and then I deleted the Delvic cache and advanced options. Then I went into mounts and storages, I think, or something like that. Uh, and I went and I formatted the data, I formatted the cache, I formatted the system, and then I went back and I clicked install from uh, install zip from SD card then you click on uh, the right SD card to uh, excuse me then you click on uh, choose zip to install and then you click on the CM 7A2 beta uh, dash 0928201 hyphen signed. Uh, that was the file that I had gotten and I had preloaded that onto my card as well. Uh, and you put that on the, just right onto the card, don't put it in any folders or anything like that. And you click to install that and if it doesn't go, uh, try it again. And if it doesn't go after that, then you gotta just hit reboot and you'll go back to your, your regular settings and, and try and reinstall CWM again but it it worked for me the first time um, it took a little bit of trial and error here and there but uh, that's exactly how I did it and the first time that it worked um, it is very impressive uh, it does run a little bit faster even though it's not overclocked I think it's just because there's a lot of systems apps that, that are not on there anymore uh, even though they put a lot of their options on there there's not a no bloatware uh, there might be a couple little things that they threw on there for you but now that you're a super user you can just get rid of anything you want um, so that's it um, the Huawei Ascend 2 M865 I believe this will work for the M860 uh, bleh, the M865C as well uh, although I'm not sure I don't have one to test but uh, I'm pretty positive they're very very similar so I can't imagine it not working on that um, if there's any questions uh, please feel the free to post I'll try to get back I hardly ever go on this account I just wanted to post this to everybody because this thing has frustrated the ever-living fuck out of me for the past several months and uh, trying to get this rooted and trying to get it uh, to get a ROM on there all I wanted to do was root it and get rid of a bunch of the crap apps that are on there that I don't need to take up all my RAM uh, but now that I can have multi-touch and everything else fuck yeah I will sign me up that's uh, uh, let me see if I can one more time or you might be able to see for sure so because I remember when I first saw um, mega Android doing the multi-touch I didn't believe him I, it looked it looked shady but it's it's for real um, let's see if I can if I can do it with a picture rather than uh, doing it with the big bright um, well let's see we'll take a picture of that and of course uh, uh, you might be able to see it a little bit I'm gonna try to even I can't see it but there you go there's your multi-touch right there now it obviously it looks a little odd uh, in the picture end of it but it's very uh, it looks like it kinda goes everywhere but that's because you're also able to well, I can't even see anything you're also able to move the picture side to side like that um, but that is it right there there's your there's your multi-touch
on the Huawei Ascend 2. Uh, it's and it's a little less warbly uh, when you when you go online. Um, it, it's a, it's a lot more functional. I, I thought it looked kind of funky with the pictures, but going online is very difficult uh, to get a video of that and have it look decent. Uh, in any case, that's it. Hope you enjoy.